<clears throat> Buy the dip, short the VIX, fuck Bitcoin. <laughs> Yo, what's up, investor compadres, and welcome back to the Cell Phone Balling Show over here with Team Nerd Herd, where if you want to do it right, invest in what you like, man. But uh, I'm going to pass it over to Fire Cell Comics, man, so we can introduce your introduce himself once again, man, as our uh, our professor, the professor of investing, man, Fire Cell Comics. Yo, what up, everybody? It's Fire Cell Comics here, your collecting expert. I am here to talk about some cell phone balling here today, some coins. And uh, yeah, man, big day in the world of uh, cryptocurrency and investing. Yep, and we are taping at on Saturday at 546. And today, Bitcoin has went over 60K. It's back down. It went back down a little bit, but it hit some support around 58,000. Popped back to over 60K. And uh, what are we looking at, Nick, man? What are we looking at, bro? So here we go. We'll get right into looking at the Bitcoin chart, guys. This is the Bitcoin chart on Coinbase, right? So I've been uh, mapping this chart for a few months now. And as you can see, Bitcoin has been just cruising upon this trajectory here when it hit this low back in December of 18,000. Back in December, all those months, many, many months ago of four months when it was at $18,000. <laughs> it's now at $60,000, guys. I don't know Jesus. if you guys know, know what that means. That means a run up of 237%, guys. So uh, if you would have put uh, your money in Bitcoin back in December for Christmas, your money would be worth 237% more dollars. So uh, Bitcoin right now is above 60,000. Um, guys, it doesn't get much more bullish than this. If we can knock out this high right here of 61,000, it's it's the moon. There's not much resistance above this. It's clear sailing. I, I see a, I see a $80,000 Bitcoin in the future real, real soon. Um, yeah. And as, jo and as Jordan says, man, like this is uh, conquering the market 101, man. It's the bull flags happening on Bitcoin. The bull flag were consolidated back down to about 51, 50. It's such a beautiful thing to see for it to grab support. You can see it right there in the charts, man. Um, it was it's such a beautiful thing to see right now where it's uh, consolidating around like uh, 58,000, 59,000. And anytime it hits 58,000, it is not staying there for a while. It wicks down and bounces back up on that trampoline because it says yo i'm a big boy i can dunk now let me get over 61 let me get over 60 right yeah and as long as bitcoin stays above this big purple line uh it's bullish bitcoin is bullish when it's above this big purple line well if you look here it's only tapped the purple line twice back in january twice so then it is staying above it and just staying bullish as ever so um yeah, let, let's 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 take a look at what ETH is doing. Yo, ETH is just going, man. <laughs> so ETH above this this purple line right here that I set as some over has been on like a similar trajectory to Bitcoin ever since like sometimes looks like the end of December and has just been bullish ever since. Just boom, just took off from that line, tapped it once, came back, tapped it twice. And it's just continued to, to to trail off into the stratosphere. As long as ETH stays above uh, this purple line, it is bullish. As you can see, ETH has kind of formed this almost looks like a symmetrical triangle here with this overhead resistance and this underneath support, right? And you can see we have broken out of this triangle, went back, tested, tested support, and came back out. And we're now testing the triangle support. If we, we might run here. And hit here, I would say if this hits here and, and takes off here, this is a definite buy zone. Because here we're going to go like this, guys. We're just going to go towards the moon. 
Um, so yeah, uh, ETH is looking really bullish. There's a lot of um, uh, events coming for ETH and a lot of like things that are going to come and, and fundamentally make the market even more bullish for ETH, like EPI 55.9. Uh, or whatever the, the thing is called. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. E2.0. Um, there's just a lot of good things to be invested in ETH right now. Yeah, man. ETH, ETH is taking off, man. And, um, and you know, and, and for those that know, man, that that, that support line that Nick Nick drew is like, um, it's, you know, it, 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 as long as it stays above that, as long as it doesn't dip under that, we're not going bare. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see us going bare for a while, right, Nick? Yeah, man, it hasn't. I mean, check this out. Like the support line, it, it's held here. Back in, in February, it's held here in March. It, it started back in December. This is a multi-month trend. And now as they say, the trend is your friend, right? As long as it isn't breaking, you should only dip right here. ETH dipped from this tie right here. Oh, we're freaking out. It's over. Bear market's over. But you know what? It never broke this purple line, this trend line. And it has continued upon this path this entire time. So um, I, I feel really bullish on ETH. Yeah, man, I'm bullish as hell on ETH, man. I got me some ETH, bro. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So let's let's uh we talked about Bitcoin, we talked about ETH. Uh let's talk about um let's talk about some picks. Let's get into some some low altcoin picks uh that you know uh the, the people want to hear. Let's give the people what they want, right? They want to know what should I buy? What's the next thousand X? What's the next hundred X? What's the next 10 X, right? So I'm gonna get right into my pick. My first pick is Rio DeFi. Hmm. So if you don't know about R Fuel, uh, R Fuel is one of these DeFi projects that it just seems to have a partnership with every single other project that catches hype. But this is yet to catch hype. Right now, uh, is sitting at a $30 million market cap, sits it right now at rank 680 throw. There's only, there's only 264 million circulating supply of Rio DeFi of R Fuel and KuCoin offers 20% staking for Rio DeFi. And I, I've heard even some places where you stake it with them and you get up to 50% staking. So uh, I'm going to go real quick into a little breakdown of Rio here, show you guys what their website is all about, right? Some of the things with these coins, they got a cool website. Sometimes that's kind of all you need is a cool website, a good team, and a, and a good use case, right? um they say that their app is coming their app hasn't necessarily launched yet right so it's be coming soon to the phones right um here's what really gets me excited their ecosystem partnerships they're partnered mm -hmm. with big projects like kylan Chainlink, you know uh alf right like MoonPay. You know, venture uh, like all the different uh, exchange Uniswap, KuCoin, Max, right? So this app that is a, to a lot of people that just have. So uh, is there a lot of growth in in, in uh, our fuel? Yeah, you know, I oh, won't even show you that. Okay, so um, yeah, is there a lot of growth in our fuel? Absolutely. Um, and it's only been out, you know, for about thirty some odd days on Coin Gecko. So you know, um, has it hit its all time high? It's twenty six cents. So um, it's got a lot of room to grow at least the times two for 26 cents away so it's going to go past it i'm high uh this is a polka dot project it once the polka dot system is up and running and this thing is functioning with all of its partnerships that it already has set up uh, i see this maybe hitting 30 40 50 cents all right so um yeah that's our fuel um let's get into the next one um my next pick energy web token that's a so, good one man yeah energy web token like uh, you know you're gonna see with 1688 my 1688 right now hmm. 1688 right so i like to pick things to tell the audience to buy on a dip right like i'm not going to tell you to go out there and buy something that's just shooting to the moon unless it's bit bitcoin or eth um energy web token uh, and, and you'll also see like between this and our fuel it's about partnerships man partnerships with energy web token are huge some of the biggest partnerships in the world and some of the biggest companies in the world are partnered with energy web token now i don't yeah. i'm not an energy expert right but i do know that general electric is a big company i do know that shell energy is a big company and some of these other companies i've heard of as well solara siemens 
those companies. So these are huge infrastructure companies that run the power grids here and and the energy systems in the United States and around the world. And Energy Web Token, their plan is to create clean running blockchain energy. So um, yeah, I want to be a part of this. Uh, if you check out the token metrics here, there is 62 million tokens, right? So that's three times the amount of Bitcoin. And there's a total max supply of 100 million. And that's not billion, guys. There are coins right now, like Polkadot, with a billion circ with circulating supply that is worth twice as much as this, right? So this coin has a lot of room to grow. It's currently rank 137 with a market cap of a half of a billion dollars, right? When I see a market cap of a half of a billion dollars, mm -hmm. I ask myself, could it hit a billion? And I start looking at the projects that are a billion. And I, I think this one could easily hit a billion dollars. Uh, it's relatively close to uh, hitting its all time high, which was just a few days ago, but it is make sure to get this one, guys. Uh, They're talking about, you know, creating an energy council to like, you know, control all the blockchain energy. One of the biggest FUDs I hear versus Bitcoin or cryptocurrency at all is, hey, do you know how much energy that costs to make? Do you know how much energy it costs to burn to do the mining process? Well, you know what? Energy Web Token is trying to fix that. Could mm -hmm. be huge. Could be huge. Well, uh, yeah, let's now. I think, uh, Ian, you got a few stock picks. You want to tell us more yeah, about man. your stock pick? So I'm, I'm, I, I've been a fan of, I've been a fan of Canaan for a long time. I've been a fan for Canaan. I've, I've, I've gotten Canaan when it was uh, dirt cheap. I got Canaan when it was about like five dollars. Um, and I've been, uh, I've been uh, swing trading. Swing trading is just another word for flipping Canaan for, a, for a while. Because if you are paying attention to Bitcoin, then you understand what's going on with Canaan. Because Canaan is a mining company that mines Bitcoin, you know, and it, it is a Chinese company, you know, and I, I want to let you guys know that because I know a lot of people out there are like, you know, I, I'm not I'm not down to buy with uh, a Chinese company, you know, just just in just in general, because, uh, you know, let's be honest, man, like, you know, some Chinese companies can be uh, really shady and some some can be really good. And I think Canaan is a really good one because I actually saw them go to NASDAQ, take a picture during uh, the, the IPO and uh, smash the hammer man and i saw and, and i actually saw their their the uh ceo of the president the ceo of the company do that so i understand that they are a real company and they're doing real things you know what i'm saying and in addition to that man is like uh some of the what the best the best place to mine the best miners in all of the world are in china and now uh, let me let me back that up right so i i have an article i'm gonna read it to you guys so china with 65.08 percent of the world's crypto mining capacity still dominates bitcoin mining but china is dominating with 65.08 percent of the world's mining uh ca capacity um and like i said before like um if you understand bitcoin if you understand the crypto world you understand where Canaan's going if you see bitcoin on a on running on a bull flag and you see Canaan under 17 dollars maybe under 16 me i'm not saying i'm not gonna i'm not i'm not we're not financial advisors advisors but I'm buying because I know when Bitcoin runs to 70K, when Bitcoin runs to 80K, when Bitcoin will run to 90, 100K, right? Canaan will be a 30, $40 stock, $50 stocks, $55 stock. And I am buying on the dips every time. Every time I see Bitcoin dipping, so does Canaan. So you don't really have to pay attention to, uh, you know, two different, uh, two different markets. All you have to do is uh, pay attention to one, which is Bitcoin. And if you understand Bitcoin, you understand Canaan. If you understand Bitcoin, you understand Mara. You understand BTBT. You know what I'm saying? You understand Block, which is uh, practically practically ETF, right? It's practically a ETF for for uh, for for um for uh, Bitcoin mining companies. They 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 invest in Bitcoin mining companies for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been making a pretty good change here. Maybe you can, but I'm not a financial advisor. But I'm letting you know what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you guys know what I do. You know what I'm saying? And Canaan, $16 stock, flip it at 30. Once Bitcoin goes up to 80, it'll be a $25, $24 stock that'll move up to 40. You know what I'm saying? And if you, you know, if you buy in bulk, you're doing pretty well with Canaan. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. But again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I hopefully you guys will, will, will grab, you know, some uh, profit in that as well. What do you think, yeah. Nick? Uh, you know, I, I was an early investor in this when it was all about five dollars. Yep, five you know, bucks. 
you know so um yeah i think it makes a lot of sense you know uh bitcoin mining stocks are super hot you know i think if you're if you want exposure to bitcoin and you are too scared to actually buy bitcoin itself it's a great way of getting invested it's also a great way of just having some stocks that are bitcoin related and experience those pumps but it or you know it's a little safer you're buying them from you know is like fidelity and, and you know those t those types of places so yeah th this makes a lot of sense uh, i think it's a value when you compare it to mars i like it i like this one a lot yeah uh, mars, mar 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 mars getting expensive that's a, that's one of the other reasons why i'm picking canon because mars getting a little bit expensive man mars up to 47 dollars it used it, it used to trade you could also you you, you could buy mar on the dip around like you know um 29.99 you could you could get got it to dip at 27 and uh you, you could have flipped it around uh you know 50 where it went the uh, yes where it went on front on on thursday Mar uh, Mara went up to 52 55 I, you know i got my profit came out but it's not dipping back because people that know bitcoin understand what's going on they know Mara's going to run up to probably 60 dollars 60 to 80 dollars soon but you know i could grab i could get the same profit margin with canaan and buy more canaan and flip it at 30 you know what i'm saying like that's just that's my thoughts on it and that's what i'm trying to do yeah no 100 percent uh, let's let's get into your next pick. Muds, man, muds, muds is Mur 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 Mudrick, Mudrick Capital, Mudrick Capital um, purchased uh, Tops, right? And um, they're 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 planning on um, um, on running uh, Tops cards, and Tops does hockey, and Tops does base uh, Major League Baseball, and they're they're trying they're they're, they're planning on running them similar to uh, Top Shots, what uh, Flo does. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we all know what uh, we all know what the flow coin is worth. You know, the flow the flow the flow coin is worth about thirty three to thirty five dollars on uh, you know pick your day. You know what I'm saying wherever it's moving. You know what I'm saying. Um, and that's a coin you can't get. That's a coin that's on KuCoin that is uh, off limits to any no one to anyone that who had, did, wasn't able to get it on the drop. But you can get uh, a Mudra Capital. You can you can get Mudra Capital on the stock market. You know what I'm saying. Um, and Mudger Capital is at about 1081 right now. Um, my own suggestion to myself, and I'm not a financial advisor, is buy it under 1050. You know, I'm telling myself anytime it dips under 1050, I am buying a ton. You know what I'm saying? Because do I, what do I think, what, what do I, what do I think of this? My exit plan is on this. My exit plan could be $18, could be 15, could be 20. But, if, uh, but for sure, I am making my profit. You know what I'm saying? I, I will be buying this in bulk. And I will be watching it uh, move up. Um, it was around uh, nine dollars, but at the uh, uh, at, at its announcement, it, uh, it 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 wicked all the way to about like uh, I think about thirteen dollars. You know what I'm saying? It came back down to ten eighty one, and it's moving down to consolidate probably around ten fifty ten dollars. I'm always looking at those uh, nice perfect numbers, man. That's that's what people look at, like me. And there's a lot of people that that look at the same thing. So I'm looking at consolidation around ten fifty, maybe ten dollars. Maybe around 950, um, but I uh, once we find that that uh, that 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 line of support where the strongest support goes, like anything else, it bounces up the trampoline and moves on up. So um, I am thinking uh, Mudrick once they start uh, their NFTs for um, for tops, and uh, they do have um, licensing with uh, Disney, that we will be seeing this thing uh, move up pretty soon. Um, uh, hopefully, it'll be moving up uh, sooner than later. I'm not a sideways trader. I do not like sideways uh, stocks. I like to invest on stocks that go up um, and that are bullish. Um, but this does have a bullish flag about it. It has been uh, moving down pretty slowly from 13 to 1081. And like I said, um, that is a bull flag to me when I see it uh, trading sideways down on a downward slope looking for um, price discovery. Um, and once it finds that support, um, I feel like it's going to pop up pretty good for uh, those that have invested in a uh, Mudra Capital who own tops and it has licensing with Disney. What you think, Nick? I mean, yeah, tops is a great company. Uh, I think that, you know, they they like uh, very few companies out there have a brand name that far exceeds their current value. Right. So like you could mention tops to most people. And they know what you're talking about. They know that you're talking about baseball cards. Um, that is kind of brand recognition that costs a business millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars to establish. Uh, so Tops is a, is a great historic 
legacy business and i'm excited to actually be able to own a piece, a piece of it because they've been private for so long so now that they're public you know i can own a piece of this business that has been around for you know 50 plus years uh made some of the greatest cards in collecting history um and yeah i'm excited to see where they go um you know a lot of things that people don't really know about tops is that they make a lot of their money in candy um mm -hmm. The Bazooka Joe bubblegum uh, part of their corporation is a huge money factor for them. Um, you know, so just because they took the gum, the gum out of the bubblegum packs doesn't mean they don't still make the bubblegum. And they make a lot of money off of that. So, you know, this is a business that's diversified that, hey, you're spending $10.50 for a piece of this business or $10.80, $11. Feel comfortable that you bought a good company. Um, because, uh, yeah, they're going to be around for a while and I would love to eat up some sort of dividend and I, I don't mind trading, holding something sideways. If it pays me passively to hold it, I think this is a company that is not going anywhere. You know what I mean? This is not a fly by night. Could what, close did, did I miss something? Are we getting dividends off months? The technology, you could baseball cards, you know, are, are, are we getting, uh, are we getting dividends off months? No, not yet. So, so this is a spec. So they just, I think, yeah. So they just went public. So like, you know. Who, who knows what could happen but tops is that type of company they've been around like at and t they've been around like you know uh any of these other any of these other disney you know these historic companies there's a reason why eisner bought a part of tops because tops he saw the same thing with tops that he saw with disney it's a company that he, if you mention the name of this company to somebody they go oh i know what that is i know that those are the cards that i put into the spokes of my tire those are the cards that my dad used mm -hmm. to collect those are the cards that I used to collect. Those are the bubble gum that I used to chew or something like that, you know. So, you know, they, they, they have that brand. They have that recognition, right? And for $10.80, and, and, uh, you know, there's not too many brands on the market that you can buy that are they're that really cheap but that's a really diluted stock so you know uh, this is a cool exciting ones coming in the market the fact that they're involved with nfts is really cool too uh, but you know uh who, there's the sky's the limit for these people I, i've heard that they want to make bazooka joe movies who knows what they want to do right I, I view this one a lot like getting in the hasbro real early you know they they make things for kids you know yeah I, th I think i think the nice the ni nice pretty number for uh for for mudrick is about 1050 because I'm watching, I've been watching it. I've been watching it. I've been stocking it like I do all different stocks I want to invest in, and it's been bouncing off. Like right there, it says 10.52. So it's been bouncing off 10.52 for a few days now. Um, hopefully, like I, you know, I, I hopefully it can get under 10.50 because that's where my mark is to really get my get my money into it. You know what I'm saying? But um, <clears throat> we will see, man. We will see. What do you think, Nick? Do you think this can get this this can uh, can can dip for us enough for uh, for us to fully invest? Yeah, I'm gonna put a buy in at 1050. I'd love to see it crash even more. Sorry guys, but uh, too, come come down if if this thing buy you know comes down to like seven dollars, I'm 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 aping it. Oh, uh, aping. But you know it, it's it it's something that like I wouldn't mind holding this, you know, in the retirement, it, like just like I do with a lot of my stocks. Uh, it would be great if it pays dividends, but I think uh, this this company is going to, uh, like like you said, they are grandfathered in to their industries. Uh, and they're not going anywhere. Like, what does Warren Buffett say? Buy the things that people buy, right? Like the Kellogg's, the, Co the Coca-Cola's, you know, those things. Tops is one of those companies like Kellogg's, Coca-Cola, that is timeless, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, who who knows? They got some smart people over there. The sky's the limit for these guys. All right, cool, man. Yeah, man. Um, I, I'm, I'm with you, bro. Seven, if, if it dips under nine, yo, better watch yeah. out, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna help it dip back. I'm I'm gonna help it get back up to eleven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. So. Um, well, cool. Well, you know, thanks guys. Appreciate you guys, you know, showing up and uh, checking out the show. I hope we were able to share a couple quick hits with you guys of picks. You know, and uh, yeah, leave us some comments. Tell us some things that hey, what what coins are you guys shilling? What stocks are you guys shilling? Tell you us what know. you guys want us to look into. Right. Tell us what coins we should be buying. We learn from you guys. So uh, tell us what like, chart. Tell us what chart you want Nick to bring up, because Nick Nick has the charts, man. What chart do you want us to bring up? We can look at it. We can help you define what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, because like I said, we're all about technical analysis and fun and fundamentals on this show, man. And that's what we look at. Yep. So you know, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe uh, for more content just like this.
dog, y'all really got no growth I could call it stunting, but that would be too cold I've been right here trying to get it on go uh, I'm too fly like O Hop in the car and go fast like Zoom Tell me how you feel when you dancing in the room To this cup right here, you the brightest like the moon uh, In the nighttime, baby, the boogie make you move And it might sound crazy, the floor smoked out So it might look hazy, but I'ma make sure that it's 